my name is Indu and I am from the class of 1978. Gosh, that sounds ancient. Anyway, today is a special day, 50 years to the inception of Reverend C.F. Andrews School. Several years ago, I took a walk down memory lane, that's Prabhat Colony. The landscape had changed dramatically and nothing seemed familiar. But there was this one small building that stood just at the corner the way I had left it in 1978. I was overcome with mixed feelings. I was expecting to see a legitimate school building instead of a semi-school come residential structure. As the old adage goes, don't judge a book by its cover. The school has produced many A-listers. By A-listers, I don't mean just students who have acclaimed credentials, but to encompass everyone from tradesmen to professionals to homemakers. The job of a homemaker is not just a full-time job focusing on providing a warm, healthy, nurturing environment to the family, but also to solve and resolve all issues, tackle all temperaments, and maintain peace and harmony. Many of these basic virtues are learned in school. So today, let's pause from our daily activities to recognize our teachers present and absent, and also to pay respect to those who are no longer with us. Today, we honor our teachers who played a vital role in shaping our lives of who we are and who we are yet to be. Teachers are our first heroes as we transition from a young child to adulthood. During this transition, many more heroes get added on and even some get deleted but the heroes of our school years always remain apostle. Today, we commemorate our teachers for imparting us the education and knowledge and thus laying the foundation of a vision and to achieve those goals. Today is also an extra special day because we have amongst us the very first principal of Andrews, Mrs. Homi Astor. You instilled in us the magic of reading. Never stop reading. Those were your golden words. You were a disciplinarian, yet loving and compassionate. The hallmarks of being a Parsi. There is a saying that if you know one Parsi, you are a blessed soul. We are all blessed. Mrs. Astor would take turns in visiting each class to read us a book. Alas, our sudden, your sudden exit left a deep and profound void in our school but we carried on your legacy of reading. Another stalwart of Andrew's school is Dr. Mrs. Preeti Sastev. Thank you for being a truly inspirational teacher. Your passion for the subject of science was reflected in the way you taught the class. You brought life to the subject. You m made us think outside the box. We are grateful for the hard work and dedication you put in your early years of your career. We were privileged to have had you as a science teacher coming from a very prestigious institution. The list of other dedicated teachers is long. Mrs. Dave, Mrs. Sagar, Mrs. Iyengar, Mrs. Kocher, Mrs. Rangaswamy, Ms. Oberoi, our late Mrs. Jalakshmi, and of course, how can we forget Mr. Pandey? Sir was not perturbed by the lack of open space for physical training. The road was our salvation, much to the amusement of passers-by. We would go left, right, left, and about turn, right on the stretch of the road in front of the school, sometimes to the sound of drum beats. We couldn't pursue these activities at the hall compound as we were reprimanded by the next-door yoga guru. My favorite was the dumbbell and lazim part of physical training. During the elementary years, we had Miss Briganza, Mrs. V. D. D'Souza, Mrs. J. D. D'Souza, Mr. Harish Srivastava, Mr. Mishra, Mr. Fadness. These days, I am revisiting history, glimpses of world history written by Jawaharlal Nehru. As the pages are devoured, I can hear Mrs. Anger's voice. It feels like I am back in seventh grade. Now that I am reading it without the pressure of memorizing the era and the dates, it is so much more fun. Mrs. Rangaswamy's Rolling Stone Gathers No Moss 
proverb still rings loud and clear and today the meaning has more depth than it did four decades ago mrs dave's all encompassing endearing personality struck out among the school staff she was not just a marathi language teacher but would never let an opportunity pass by to instill good virtues in us she treated all of us like her own which group of schoolers were lucky to have two mothers one at home and one at school within two months of my coming to california i was rudely awakened uh, in the wee hours of the morning by the northridge northridge earthquake as i lay on my bed waiting for my heart to stop racing i was reminded of mrs sagar's geography classes on the tectonic plates that slight shift in my thoughts helped me relax and also stop my baby from kicking me from the adrenaline rush for three decades i have moved from one form of schooling to another sat through many classes but the best of teachers were from andrews this is not an embellishment here's the reason why i say this at least from my perspective our teachers took the effort and time to read the subject and teach us the next day not just one class but multitude of classes multitude of topics during a single day they had a packed time table they were teachers with their own young families in short they made a huge sacrifice for us they did not come to class and give notes when a class is spoon fed with notes the whole dynamics change the child is left with a subject to read and comprehend or learn by rout the very first story i heard as a child was the story of lord jesus by mrs v d de souza uh, this was in second standard it made a huge impression in my young mind last year i had the opportunity to visit the holy land and all the stories unfolded in front of me it was a very special moment mrs gandhi showed us how to draw and mr anil ukekar how to define different strokes he told us how to draw landscape he was a true artist at heart mr sudarshan first class with us was in 8th standard on the structure of a cork under the microscope till today my fascination of looking beyond what is apparent to the naked eye has in vain craft lessons by mrs dasgupta taught us creativity those days we wondered why we were making flower baskets and letter boxes i wish i had saved all of them but i made up for it by saving and proudly exhibiting my kids creations mrs coach's comprehension of the english language was exemplary one day while i was at a horse riding lesson for my kids i was suddenly reminded of a poem called lock and ward by sir walter scott at first i thought my brain was playing tricks so i went online and lo and behold the poem was real it took me many years to admire and appreciate each one of our teachers the foremost love of every kid that attended andrews from the tender years is no doubt mrs call i was not fortunate to be her nursery kid but our class was next to the kindergarten class and every day i would hear the kids waving bye to mrs call until they disappeared on the corner i admire her resilience and finally this one is for sheer sure loves mrs balla was a biology teacher someone in the class ticked her off and we got reprimanded the punishment was we had to teach ourselves a chapter on biology now i know why we all got married <laughs> mumtaz a face of eternal calm and serenity how do you manage that beats me to this day No narration is complete without a tribute to late Mrs. Jayalakshmi. She was a single math teacher for the whole school. She would not hesitate to explain a prob- problem multiple times with the utmost patience. God bless her soul. Andrew's students had a full rounded education. Here I bring to focus the general knowledge quizzes during our off periods. 
we were schooled in debate, general knowledge, quizzes and more. These formative years raised a student who went on to win the National Jeopardy Championship in the US. It's a very prestigious win or an award. His name is Vijay Balse. The Golden Jubilee celebration was a colossal success. It was a celebration of lifetime. It was a celebration of our teachers by the very students they commandeered. May the spirit of androids, teachers and students live on and we will all gather again for yet another celebration that shall never end. Thank you. And how can we forget Lakshmi Bai? Her vadas were to die for. I'm sure I'm failing to put some names to the faces that I remember, so please pardon me. If we lost in having a legit school building, we gained in having a rich team of dedicated teachers. Having lived and raised in India and raising my own in another world, in a different culture, I cannot but be grateful for the foremost qualities of tolerance and incl inclusiveness that were instilled in us and today we circumvent the globe, those qualities are at the forefront. Finally, a message to the young androids. You don't have to attend a magnet or a Cambridge school to achieve high. You just have to be a dreamer and follow your dreams. Knowledge is power and value of education is limitless. Follow your passion in whatever you excel because you can build an industry if you apply it right. There's a calling for each one of us. Realize and pursue it. So high like an eagle. Sometimes you may have to knock on many doors before the right one opens. So don't be perturbed. If you fall, get up with more vigor and move on. Keep your dreams alive. Understand to each achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself. Vision, hard work, determination and dedication. This tribute is incomplete without a shout out to the organizers for the stupendous job at putting this event together. And finally, I bow to you all. Good luck, take care and thank you. Andrew School Where teachers rule Andrew School Humko lagi Biari. Choti Magar Nyari Hamko Lagi Pyari Choti Magar Nyari Apni wo Shala Masti wo Shala Apni wo Shala Masti wo Shala Andrew School